guys, welcome back to All Books Book Reviews. I'm so happy to have you all with me, and I cannot wait to share this book with you. Like I say in all the videos, it's a really good book, which probably gets redundant after a while, but I'm just telling it like it is. It is a really good book, in my opinion anyway. And I can't believe it's already August. Fall is right around the corner, which is insane to think about. And I have some huge plans coming up for this channel. I cannot wait. Uh, if all goes well, I don't want to, you know, give anything away, then something falls through. So we will see. But I do have plans in the making. And along with the review, I'm actually, I have like this little mini giveaway that I'm doing. The author for this book sent me some bookmarks a few years ago. And I have like a handful left. So I thought how fun to give away some bookmarks. So that, that'll be really fun. I'm excited for it. And final little note before we get into the to the actual review. I'm using a new mic, um, so let me know what you think of the audio, the quality and everything, if it's too muffled or I don't know, what you think of it, and if I should go back to what I was using prior. And let's go ahead and get into the review. The Stolen Papyrus is book one of the Artifact Guardian series. It's written by Kate M. Turner, and it's, uh, the series book two is The Lost Sepulchre, and book three, which is coming out today, August 17th, which is really exciting, is the Aegean Vaults. Aegean, I think that's right. And there's also a prequel to The Stolen Papyrus. It's called The Lakota Shrine, and that is exclusive to newsletter subscribers. So if you go to her website right here, and you can sign up for that and get your free ebook, and I also have the link in the description. Okay, so some basic information. This was published July 2019. I read the ebook version, which has 368 pages. There are 24 chapters and an epilogue. So we're looking at about 15 pages per chapter, which is average. And the typical reading time is six hours. It actually was like six hours and like 17 minutes or something. So this one was a doozy, actually. It's a little on the longer side. Okay, so the genres, historical fiction, primarily um, focusing on ancient Egypt. Uh, there's adventure and romance. Okay, and here is the synopsis. It's every archaeologist's dream to explore the hidden tombs of Egypt. Unfortunately for me, my dream turns into a nightmare when Alexander Harrison, a childhood friend who betrayed me, joins my team. I came to Egypt to study the ancient past, not to be confronted with my own. Besides Alexander's questionable motives for joining the eva I keep saying the evacuation, the excavation, I'm also convinced he's the one responsible for my father's death. But I can't prove it, and if I don't want to miss out on the excavation of a lifetime, I'll have to put my personal feelings aside and work with the annoyingly handsome Englishman. But as we find clues to the whereabouts of an ancient tomb, secrets start to surface, revealing pieces of a deadly plot against us. Soon, I start to realize that I might have been wrong about Alexander. The only way to discover the truth is if I give up the very secret my father died to protect. If I don't, I might share my father's fate. This is actually my second time reading this. Like I mentioned earlier, book three uh, is out right now, and so I wanted to reread the series. That way I would be ready for the, the next installment so I would remember like important things because it's been a while since I read these, actually. So, and I was, I was actually excited to return to it because it's just a fun series. Okay, so my main, like, out of the entire book, characters, plot, everything, my favorite parts were the descriptions. The main character, Layla, she had such a habit of just getting lost in the history of everything, like working on the digs and, you know, finding like pottery or old furniture or something, you know, that you would find, I guess. Um, she would get so lost in that and just think, you know, like, I wonder who the last person was to, to use that or hold that or this, no one has seen this or touched this, you know, for so many thousands of years. And I loved it so much. I made tons of highlights, actually, and here's um, a few of them. That that was my wrist cracking, if you caught that. This mic is very sensitive, so you probably heard that. Um, but she, the, um, the character, Layla, she just, she made it so fun for the reader to, like, 
you know, to go with her on this, you know, her imaginings, if that makes sense, that probably sounded weird. But it was so fun to, like, immerse into that world, you know, and, and wonder, hmm, I wonder, you know, who the last person to use that was, too. It was just so much fun. I love that. Uh, the last part of the synopsis that I did not hit into very much was she said something to the effect of, now this is my wordage, not hers, but basically this book has a nice like combination of The Mummy and Indiana Jones. Again, my wordage, not hers. Um, but I think that is spot on. Like, If you like either of those two franchises, you will love this book. It has the adventure, the history, some humor, a dash of romance, which I'll get into that later. It had all that, the excitement, the twist, the, all of it. It was phenomenal. I loved it so much. And with the twist, there, there was a lot of, you know, who can I trust, you know, themes in the book. You know, like, are they really, you know, like, double agents, which there's no spy stuff in this. That would be the last video, actually, which the link is right there in the corner. Um, but it had a lot of, who can I trust? Are they on my side? Are they secretly a villain? You know, actually, like I said, I this is a reread for me. And restarting this, I actually thought, because I forgot some of the characters and everything like that. So I was like, wait, is that person, you know, secretly like one of the bad guys? And it took me all the way to the end to be like, oh, no. They're okay. They're on our side. And I reread that, but it's just done so well that you don't really know who to trust, which is very exciting. I loved it. So, if you know me, you know that I do not really lean toward romance uh, novels. Actually, I have a thing on there on my explanation video that on these videos, I'm only doing ones that like are kept like PG, you know what I mean? So there is more romance in this book than what I usually read. That is not to say it was not clean or that it was like TMI or uncomfortable or anything. Nothing like that. There were only like three, maybe four tops uh, kissing scenes. But, you know, they were over like kind of as quick as they started. And if you are uncomfortable reading stuff like that, you could easily just skim over that. It was just more more than I usually read. When it came to Xander and Layla, I thought they did make a pretty cute couple. They had a very strained, rocky relationship. Um, it did definitely not start out, you know, on physical attraction or anything, nothing like that. They actually had a lot to work through before they even became civil toward one another, which, I don't know, that was kind of cool. Okay, aside from the romance and not being a, a 100% fan of it, but again, that's not like huge or anything. The one thing that I really did not like, because I think every book review, even if it's like five stars, should have something, you know, ne on the more negative side. So the one thing I really didn't like, like I said, I reread this and reading it again, th I think there's a lot of different I want to use the word subplots, but I don't know if that's the right term or not. But there's so many, like, different things. There's a lot of flashbacks going on and a lot of, like, trying to piece the puzzle together, you know, and everything. There was a lot of a lot of that going on that, you know, reading the book, I forgot, like, in the middle of reading the book, I was like, oh, yeah, that was going on. I totally forgot. And trying to, like, put characters, like, who's who, like, the ones, like, you don't see or the ones, like... From the flashbacks you're trying to put them in the present and you're like wait who's that I'm, I'm confused so that would be my really only big thing I didn't like that it was sometimes hard to follow because there were a lot of little things going on and the last point I'm going to hit on is the villain or should I say villains these were pretty intense um, when it came to violence there is some violence a little bit of blood nothing gory or you know, like, don't eat while you read this, nothing like that. Uh, but the villains are ruthless and cruel and merciless. Um, they don't hold back, you know. It's, it's pretty intense. So the villains love to hate them. So my overall thoughts, would I reread this? Absolutely. I, like I said, second reread. And I am so stoked to read book three. I cannot wait. Um, I... 
plan to do books two and three on this review channel. Um, they probably won't be out till next summer because, see, I think Ancient Egypt summary, you know, so that's, they'll probably be out next. Who knows? I, I don't really know. But anyway, I very much intend to do those on this channel. Would I recommend this? Yes. If you, like I said earlier, if you like The Mummy and Indiana Jones, you need this book in your life, this whole series, because it is like on, like spot on on those series. All this book is missing is its own theme song, you know, like the Indiana Jones one, which I won't do because copyrights. That's all it's missing to be like up there with that. And when it comes to movie adaptations for this, there is none, sadly, but there needs to be. Like I said, it could totally work. And I am giving this book four out of five stars. I was kind of conflicted about changing my original star rating on this. I had four stars originally, and I was like, I wonder if I should go up or, or what? But I'm going to keep it four stars. I think that's, that's a pretty good rating. So where to find this? Firstly, it is on Goodreads. Add it to your to-read list. You can check out the author and other her the rest of the series and follow her and all that good stuff. You can get it on Amazon, Nook, Apple, Kobu, and the paperback. You can also get it on Amazon, Bookshop, BAM, and you can even order a signed copy on her website. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so for the bookmarks, which I've been excited about this, so, how to get a bookmark. Two things. First of all, like this video. And secondly, in the comments, answer this question. If you could travel back in time to any time period, what would it be and why? So, it could be anything. So, the answers are endless on there. So, I have nine bookmarks. I'm probably going to send two to three in the mail for each person. So basically this ends whenever I run out of bookmarks. So, I don't know. And um, I guess the best way to do this, because I've never done a giveaway on here, really, um, when you comment your answer, I will reply back to that with my email, and you email your address, and then I will send you the bookmark in the mail, I guess. If there's an easier way to go about that, please let me know, because I'm very new to this. So believe it or not, that is going to wrap up this review. Did anyone notice I did not follow the usual all the likes and then all the dislikes format? I'm trying to try different things and yeah. Because I usually go off my original review and could take notes from that along with, you know, the reread. But my original one was kind of vague. So there wasn't a whole lot to go off of it. So I don't know. So yeah, it's going to wrap things up. Again, if this book sounds like something you would love, please check it out. I have all the links in the description where to find it, Amazon, her website, all that. And make sure if you want to read that exclusive story, The Lakota Shrine, that you subscribe to her newsletter. That's in there as well. And make sure if you want a bookmark, make sure you comment your answer. And again, let me know what you thought of the audio quality. It took me, I've been working on this video for a couple weeks just trying to get the hang of it and everything, and I personally like it. So anyway, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and yep, until next time, happy reading!